Qishm Island, with an area of about 1,500 square kilometers, is the largest island of the Persian Gulf, where the closest distance between this island and Iran's coastline at the North Cape in Laft Port to the Paul village is approximately 2,500 meters. Persian Gulf Bridge has an overall length of 3,420 meters, which stretches about 2,500 meters across the sea, with five 360 meter long spans and two 180 meter long semi spans and access bridges on both sides. In order to build the bridge, the stone outcropping is used on both sides to perform in situ concrete piles. For each piling group, Several bores are drilled and reinforcement cages are inserted inside the bores and then concrete pouring begins. The diameter of the reinforcement cages is 120 centimeters and their length varies from 36 to 38 meters. After construction of each pile group, building concrete pile caps with dimensions of 1.5 to 6.5 in 30 meters is started. Concrete pile caps will be made after reinforcement, formwork and concreting works were carried out and then nine piers are built and final pier caps will be placed on these piers. Pre-stressed 30 meter long beams will be placed on these pier caps. There are 13 beams at each span. After covering these beams with precast concrete slabs, Final concreting of the deck is done to finish construction of access bridges. The bridges spans placed on concrete pylons with a height of 153 meters from the seabed, which are almost three times bigger than Azadi Tower. In the foundation section, there are box caissons with 45 and a half meters of length and 35 meters of width. Each caisson consists of 30 hollow chambers and four distinct sections in order to keep the balance during immersion. After reinforcement and formwork, caissons concreting are carried out lift to lift and their roof is covered with precast concrete segments and finally the work is completed by an in situ concrete layer. To fill and drain the water in the caisson, all outlet pipes and fittings are mounted inside the piers and chamber beneath these piers. Six caissons and two anchors will be built on the coast of the island before being carried to the original position in two adjacent dry basins. After making the caissons, Connection points between the two basins are backfilled to divide the first basin from the second one before water filling. Before water filling in the first basin, another basin will be built near the first dry basin by stone outcropping in order to discharge the dredged materials remain from destruction of the wall between the basin and sea. This basin is also used as a path for carrying floating caissons to the immersion place.
water in chambers of caissons will be expelled after water filling in the basin. Due to the large volume of caissons to their weight ratio in compliance with the Archimedes principle, caissons float in the basin and will be ready for carriage. Now, caissons are ready to be carried by two barges and tugboats. A cable-stayed bridge consists of six towers, three of which are located on the mainland and the other three towers are located on the island. In order to get sufficient knowledge of the nature and behavior of the seabed material, sampling is done by drilling 18 boreholes at depths of 50 to 100 meters from the seabed. Geotechnical testing result reveals that there are compact layers in the mainland and liquefiable layers in the island side. For reclamation of the mainland side, the seabed simply needs to be dredged so that the required depth could be available. But on the other side, seabed shall be treated in a reasonable manner, for example by rock pillars, due to liquefiable layers. are drilled to the diameter of 90 centimeters and about 20 meters high and then filled with rock material to make these pillars. These boreholes will be filled step by step to perform compaction at each step. The number and spacing of the rock pillars depends on the tests to be carried out during work execution. At the end, the surface of stone pillars will be flattened to ensure a suitable surface for loading the bases with the rock materials. After carrying caissons to the specified coordinates for immersion, caissons shall be fixed and moved into the seabed slowly and carefully by water filling inside their chambers.
This stage is one of the critical stages of the project. The remaining part of the 153 meter high concrete pylons will be constructed in the seawater. At the higher elevation of the pylons, all equipment required for cable mounting is installed on the concrete parts of the pylons. The bridge's deck is comprised of prefabricated steel segments with a total weight of 40,000 tons. The first steel segment will be placed on the concrete beam between two piers and then the second segment is placed by winches at the connection point with the first segment. Then, after cables installation, welding work is done and connection of the deck segments to each other is completed. Below the deck, the man-through bridge is built and braced for both sides of the deck so that access to the bridge's deck could be possible for inspection. In this way, steel segments are connected to each other at both sides and each are braced with two cables. After placing the last steel segment at the middle of the span and then bracing it with cable, steel deck fabrication is completed. About 3,500 tons of cable is used for fabrication of this bridge. With completion of the steel deck, superstructure works will begin. For this purpose, precast concrete segments are erected firstly and then formwork and concreting of deck surface are carried out. Upon completion of the concrete deck, superstructure works will be performed and equipments required for road and railway are installed. To utilize big vessels navigation, which requires more than 25 meter angle of light obstruction, one of the bridges spans with 150 meters of length will be built movably. Thus, this span can move upward and downward to make it possible for vessels to navigate beneath it. The Persian Gulf Bridge includes an expressway with two traffic lanes plus an emergency lane. 
It also consists of a railway and a sidewalk. By construction of this bridge and connecting the island to the mainland, Khesham will face rapid development in various fields of business and economy, in addition to higher territorial security. Persian Gulf Regional Transportation Network